gonna go to the Joker right here, watch.
Cleveland Browns 24, Bengals 3. It was 24, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. 24 to 3. Deshaun Watson, I give him a C plus. He had some throws that were uh, questionable to say the least. I don't know if it's his release or what, but he just like throws the ball into the dirt. I don't know why. I think it's his release. But, um, you know, give him a C plus just because had two touchdowns, was responsible for two touchdowns. Um, but that god-awful pick was horrible. Missed a lot of open guys who were downfield. A lot of guys were open on plays where he held the ball or took a sack or threw an incomplete pass. Um, but you also have to say receivers kind of dropped the ball a couple of times as well. David Bell, of course. Uh, Marquise going on that deep shot definitely was a dropped pass. Um, but the standout performer of today was the Browns defense by far. They were just absolutely insane. I think they had two or three sacks on the day. Uh, just forcing Joe Burrow to move around even though he was injured with that calf. Um, they absolutely were better than expected in my opinion. So um, great job from Anthony Schwartz, not Anthony Schwartz, Jim Schwartz. Good job from him. Uh, special teams, again, it's great that you can finally have a guy that you can rely on. Dustin Hopkins was responsible for 11 points, so kudos to Andrew Berry for that. Guy hit three field goals and two extra points and made all of them straight down the middle. That's what you wanted to see. And, uh, yeah, I mean, granted, the weather was a little bit crappy. It was drizzling the entire time, cloudy, windy, all that other stuff. Uh, so you can kind of excuse a little bit of bad play, but Deshaun needs to be better, especially for Monday against the Steelers. And if you're looking at the schedule right now, honestly, 3-1, 4-0 looks like it should happen. You like you should be expecting 4-0 at this point right now because this defense, honestly, this defense can carry this team from what we saw today. Now, the defensive line, especially Zadarius Smith, was insane. He was just absolutely bullying Jackson Carmen on the right side. So, in my opinion, I would be expecting 4-0 to begin the first four games of the season before you get to the bye week in week five. I am expecting 4-0, or at least 3-1. and one. If you can get that, the Browns are going to be in terrific shape for the rest of the season, in my opinion. Um, but there's one other thing. Oh, yeah, uh, a lot of Bengals fans today, very, very glad that we can shut them up because they were talking mad shit before the game started, a lot of stuff before the game started. And uh, I'm just glad that we were able to shut them up and make them leave early. So... I'm, I'm happy with today's performance as a whole. So, But that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys all Monday night after the Steelers game. Take care.